Hi, my name is Dr. Stacy Gray, and I currently serve as the Residency Program Director for the Harvard uh, Department of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery, and I also serve as the Vice Chair of Education for our department. I wanted to take a minute to just welcome all of you to Boston. This is obviously very new and different for us. It's the first time that we are providing information virtually, and we are really looking forward to giving you a chance to hear more about our program and what makes it special. Our program is centered at Massachusetts Eye and Ear, but we also spend time at the other Mass General Brigham hospitals in the Boston area and that includes Brigham and Women's Hospital and also Boston Children's Hospital. Our residency program consists of five years of clinical training. In addition to that, we have one research track where residents spend an extra two years of training doing research after their PGY2 year. So in any one year, we have five residents, one of which will be a research resident. We're very proud of the resident research experience here at Mass Eye and Ear. All residents have the opportunity to complete a focused research project with a mentor of their choosing. Um, one of the strengths of the research within the department is the incredible breadth of experience that's available here. We not only have all the faculty mentors within the department itself, but all of Harvard, MIT, um, and, other, and all the departments therein are also available to the residents uh, for research opportunities. There are so many factors that make the program uh, based at Mass Ioneer special. It's the depth and the breadth of clinical training, not only exposure to multiple faculty, but across multiple affiliated hospitals. So they go from a super subspecialized hospital to a very busy general hospital, as well as a, a very high level tertiary quaternary children's hospital. It's an amazing breadth of experience. We have an amazing alumni association, and many of the people that trained at this program have become leaders in our specialty. And that's a very important network to have as you're coming out of a training program looking for fellowship and, and jobs, academic jobs after fellowship and residency. So I can go on forever, but uh, this is a really unique program. So the didactic sessions here at, uh, in our residency program have really evolved and they've changed as resident education has changed in the last several years, in the last couple of decades. One of the big changes in the last several years has been really incorporating resident input. That's helped us to really understand what it is that residents need, what they're missing in their other parts of their education, and the parts we really need to focus on. Our didactic sessions include our grand rounds. We've restructured our grand rounds in the last few years to really hit on the topics that are going to be important for resident education. We've tried to make those grand rounds really pertinent, both in terms of having research-based as well as clinic-based sessions. We have a really amazing surgical skills lab here that's allowed us to incorporate that into our general curriculum of resident education. Historically, that just meant doing cadaver dissections, but I think now that really means bringing in true surgical skills, whether that's just doing basic surgical cutting and sewing, as well as traditional cadaver dissections, to doing actually operative procedures, using cadavers to do sinus surgery, to do laryngeal surgery, and of course, the historical temporal bone lab. And so that's a really important part of that core of our didactics and, and that part of our curriculum. One of the unique things about our program is that a lot of our training is centered here at Mass Ioneer, which is one of the very few freestanding subspecialty otolaryngology hospitals in the country. What that does is it allows us to really focus on just otolaryngologic care for our patients. And this really allows residents to be fully immersed in our field and completely surrounded by everything that is focused on care of patients with disorders that affect the head and neck. Welcome to Mass Eye and Ear and the Harvard Otolaryngology Program. We're excited to show you around. One of the unique things about Mass Ioneer is that we have one of the few freestanding otolaryngology specific emergency rooms in the country. We're fortunate here because we have staff that teach us as junior residents in basic procedures in otolaryngology from cerumen disimpaction, peritonsillar abscess drainage, to more serious procedures such as airway complication management, 
as well as tonsil bleed management. The emergency room also offers us state-of-the-art equipment such as operating microscopes to allow procedures such as tympanostomy tube placement. We see a breadth of complaints including sinus disease, ear complaints, foreign bodies in the nares or in the ears, all the way up to life-threatening bleeds. This is the second floor bridge that connects Mass Ioneer to the Mass General Hospital and it is one of the many ways that our two hospitals are connected. We spend quite a bit of time at Mass General, whether it's seeing adult consults, pediatric consults, or operating with attendings and residents at Mass General. Welcome to the third floor where residents spend a lot of their time because of the Howe Library being here, the Meltzer Auditorium where we have our conferences, the resident rooms where we do our charting and relax, and the surgical training labs where we do a lot of our simulation work. My name is Adib Derrickson. I'm one of the fourth year surgical residents at Mass Ioneer. Here we're standing in the Joseph B. Nadal Surgical Training Laboratory consisting of 12 stations along with a proctoring station available for all residents to use 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So we have our temporal bone dissection courses here along with endoscopic sinus surgery as well as microvascular training available to us to be practiced on in, these, in this facility. This lab was dedicated only seven years ago, giving us very new equipment, the same equipment that we use in the operating room. Additionally, there's 12 stations allowing for large courses to be held with um, approximately half the residency at one time and giving us the opportunity to work together simultaneously while training uh, independently uh, and practicing on our own time. Each resident will spend a block of their rotation here at the Brigham every year of their residency training. And at any given time, we have a full complement of residents ranging from the intern year to the PGY-5 chief resident year. One of my favorite parts about the Longwood rotation is the operative experience here at Brigham. Right away as an intern, you get to do a lot of really cool, really big cases, often just you and the attending. Another thing that a lot of residents really like about this rotation is the small, tight-knit team. There are only a few residents, there are a lot of cases, and it's always fast-paced and you're always busy. It's a great experience. One of the most special partnerships we have is with the Dana Farber Cancer Institute, uh, which brings in a wide breadth of head and neck cancer cases that requires major multidisciplinary care with our oncology team, uh, uh, surgical care, as well as reconstruction efforts. And that really offers um, an amazing training opportunity for our residents here. Let me show you some of the spaces that we spend a lot of time in here when we're on our rotation at Brigham. Welcome to one of the common workrooms here at Brigham. This is where we spend a lot of our time. There are a lot of computers. We share this space with a lot of other residents here. So here you can see some of our team in action. Welcome to the Brigham ENT call room. This is a very small and cozy room, but especially as a consult resident, you spend a lot of time here. We have all of our supplies, and as you can tell, the room has a lot of personality. I chose Mass Ioneer for a lot of reasons. Um, you learn a lot about the breadth and the depth um, that this training program has to offer. Um, you get to train with world-class surgeons across all subspecialties, um, both in a subspecialized uh, hospital experience here at the infirmary and then in larger hospital experiences at Brigham and Women's and at Children's Hospital and at Mass General. Um, but what really struck me about this program was the relationship between the residents. I knew that there was something special ab about that. I could tell how much they really cared about each other, and that was really what was important to me, is having a family away from home. Mentorship is a really important part of residency, and I think when I was a medical student, I thought that it only existed between residents and the faculty. Um, but Becoming a resident, I realized mentorship happens all the time. Um, it can be something as simple as, you know, exchange in the resident room or uh, a couple moments in between cases when you're asking someone for help. Um, and I think that it's been amazing as I've gone through residency to see how I can be a part of that process to both uh, be a mentee to people who have seen me grow over the past five years and become a mentor to those who are uh, newer to the program. Outside of the walls of the hospitals, in the greater Boston area, there's so much to do for fun, whether it's sports, entertainment, nightlife, uh, restaurant scene, everything in Boston is just so fantastic and I think it really makes being a resident here fun when you're not at work. I uh, really enjoyed spending time with my co-residents outside of the hospital, 
just around the city of Boston and the surrounding area, um, whether it's skiing in the winter time or hiking in the fall and summer, going apple picking, going to sporting events. There's just so many things that make this residency so enjoyable outside of work. During interview season, I'm frequently asked what we are looking for uh, as qualities in a trainee. And one of the things that I always say is that we really um, enjoy having a very diverse group of uh, trainees. So when we're looking for applicants, we really want people to come from all parts of the country with all different kinds of backgrounds. And I think you'll see that that's true if you look at our current resident complement. And I think the reason for that is simply that we all, we don't want everyone to be exactly the same. We really enjoy when people complement each other. And I think that's one of the things I'm very proud of in our program. The residents at the Mass Ioneer are, are truly uh, exemplary trainees. They come so well prepared. Uh, their educational background uh, really sets the stage for them to, to get here. They hit the ground running. Not to mention they're wonderful people. They get along well with each other and they get along great with, uh, with all the attendings as well. So it's a great club to be part of uh, and hopefully you could be part of it too. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. We hope that you have really gotten a sense about our program. We look forward to meeting you in the interview season. And certainly if anyone has any questions, please reach out to us. Uh, we're more than happy to answer questions about our program.